Isaiah 45 verse 9 says, Woe to him who quarrels with his maker, to him who is but a potsherd among the potsherds on the ground. Does the clay say to the potter, What are you making? Does your work say he has no hands? You might be certain you had found your dream house. You pray over it, thanking God that it was yours and made an offer. But the seller rejected your offer. You were deeply disappointed. But if you are only going to be happy if God does it your way, that is not trusting Him, that is giving God orders. You should pray and trust in God's plan for your life. He is the potter and you are His clay. He knows what is best for your life. Romans chapter 8, verse 28 say, And we know that in all things God works for good for those who love Him. So let us trust God. Let God be your God. You should believe in praying bold prayers for your dreams, believing for big things, but you should let God do it His way. Hold tightly to what God puts in your heart, but hold loosely to how it's going to happen. Don't get set in your ways. Don't be discouraged because it has not happened the way you thought. God is working out His plan for your life. Psalm 138 verse 8 say, The Lord will work out His plans for my life. For your faithful love, Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you make me. Let us pray. Father, thank you that you are the potter and that my life is being shaped by your hands. Thank you that I can come to you with bold prayers for my dreams, but not hold tightly to how you make it happen, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.